my anxiety. In the second year, however, the situation was vastly different. When I woke up one day, I couldn't open the door for fear of leaving the house. I realised that it was the fear of sitting in a lecture hall that I couldn't face. Maybe it was the fear of all those people. Maybe it was the silence. Or maybe it was the pressure of not being able to leave. Maybe everything all at once. Either way, the few lectures I tried to sit through felt closer to hell than something I should be enjoying or gaining anything from. I could barely breathe or see, let alone try to read anything on a screen or write anything on a page. After I realised that going into uni was doing me more harm than good, I eventually stopped going to lectures. What may have looked like I can't be bothered to go in to everyone else was actually more I physically can't put myself in that situation anymore. The wellbeing service arranged for me to see someone to talk about my social anxiety. It took a lot of time, effort, support, and there were huge ups and downs until I started to get better. Anxiety and panic attacks are more common than you might think. Find out more about managing anxiety and panic attacks to help yourself or others at the wellbeing service.